Well, hey there, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, all those who have already. Thanks, Scorpio. If you would like a personal reading or a cord cutting, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this reading as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to enter to win $200, you can do that by liking, subscribing to all YouTube channels linked below. Just hit the more button as well as just comment blessing. I hope everybody's doing well, vibing high, and living your best Monday life, Scorpio. We're going to have a beautiful and blessed week. I know it's going to be gorge here in PA. I love me some springtime, my favorite time of the year. Concern, number 33, pathway, and message. You could be 35, 53, 33, something could happen in the next seven days. There may be somebody reaching out because they're concerned about you for some. For others, you've been concerned about some things. But Scorpio, um, if you can't change it, if it hasn't happened yet, if you cannot go back over it, there is no need to ruminate on it. It's only making you feel bad. Our body is really good like that. Thoughts that make us uh, feel bad, there's no need to think about them. Unless you are in an, a controlled environment or you're solving a problem. Focus on the solution, not the problem. You're about to have a breakthrough here, overall energy. Breakthrough. A significant breakthrough is near. Whatever you're going through, it's preparing you for your big break. Discovery, progress, and big boost. We are on the eve of the full moon. Put your water out underneath this moonlight, Scorpio, and tomorrow, write out everything you want to release while you make some moon tea with it. Really harness this. It's in our sign. A lot of things coming to the surface right now secrets coming to the surface a lot of you uh this full moon is going to be the breakthrough you need you're going to have some kind of aha moment mercury is also going direct um two days from that and uh you may feel propelled to actually start something or start moving towards uh something new this this uranus jupiter conjunction the scorpio full moon combined with mercury going retrograde it is a very powerful time to start new projects, to start a new love um, relationship, to put yourself out there, and to let go of all of the things that are not serving you. Write out a list. What is it that, that's holding me back? What thoughts? What feelings? What, what's really holding me back from living my best life? Burn the paper, rip it up, bury it, give it back to the earth, Scorpio. Give all your concerns to the universe and let them go. Focusing on the solution and not the problem. Transformation, baby, the snake. You will be shedding old skin and emotions and transforming them into something bigger and better changes in the wind and you are at the center of all of it the catalyst to smoothen the process make sure that your intentions are clear and that you move forward with hope my guides confirming everything i am saying scorpio get very clear on your intentions get very clear on what it is you want visualize yourself there is it walking along the beach and smelling that air like me i visualize being on a um deck looking over the ocean uh, in my home open floor plan lots of windows sunroof a garage underneath 
picture it. Doesn't that sound beautiful? Just a really quiet, beautiful place. No need for anything big and crazy. Just something that I can create in and feel good and relaxed in and smell that ocean air every night. And that is my paradise. What is your paradise, Scorpio? Visualize yourself there. What kind of lover do you want? What would it feel like for them to uh, touch you? Put their hand on your leg driving down the road or uh, embrace you or something. Whatever it is you are looking to do, do it with hope. Whatever you are looking to let go of right now, um, it's a great time to do that. Everything is setting up for you to be able to do that, Scorpio. Unmatch purity of heart, admiration, strong feelings of external disapproval. Oh boy. Some of you are in a constant state of chaos. You feel inadequate in order to release internal criticisms and reframe external criticisms as constructive. Learn to let go and flow and release hyper focus on the minuscule details. Uranus energy here. You could have uh, Virgo and Uranus. Your Neptune could be in Cancer. Venus and Capricorn. Admiration. There's people around you that really admire you. You're about to um, meet somebody of very high social uh, <coughs> standings here. You're very elegant, very successful, and um, you are idealistic and dream of having a glamorous life. You're passionate about your work, but if you're not admired for your accomplishments, you feel let down. Scorpio, some of you are basing too much on other people's opinions. You know what matters the way you feel. I, I mentioned that I had some negative comments here on YouTube. I was just making a point. Ultimately, Scorpio, I don't base my self-worth, my value. I, I don't allow it to affect me and I don't internalize it. It, it hurts me that some of y'all are in so much pain and so angry that instead of just clicking off the video, you decide to drag me. But hey, that's okay because what you put out, you get back. And I know I put nothing but love and light out at this point in my life. And there was a time where I was angry too. So I get it. I, I But I do not internalize it. I can't. If you walk around living your life worried about what other people think or if they're going to admire you or if they're going to respect you or if they're going to see you in the light you want them to see, um, you lose a lot of energy doing that. And I say no. Use that energy spent on worrying about what other people think, on being happy in your life. Some of you are longing for home, and I'm not sure what that means, but um, you're very emotionally connected to your guides, to your angels, Scorpio. Balance purity of heart with emotional self-reliance to counter the harsh reality of the world that falls short of what you know to be true on a soul level. Amen. Like I said, it, it, it just hurts me. What I know on a soul level is that all of you are capable of being um, in love with life like I am. All of you are capable of letting go of the past and moving forward and building a beautiful existence for yourself. And instead of hanging on to anger, anger or, or these things that just clearly are not serving you and letting you down. If you are in a constant state of chaos, I've been there too, then Scorpio, this is your message. There are some things that need to go in your life. Your guides have been screaming at you to do this, and now is a great time. Is it easy? Fuck no. It's not easy. Is it possible? A hundred percent. You can let go of the things that are no longer serving you and propel yourself into higher vibrational energy so you can start attracting in better things into your life. Moving on to what is coming in the future, breaking molds, break boundaries, erase all identifications to anything which fixes 
you permanently into the world in a new way, different than you think. You're finally breaking the mold. Moving into the next few weeks and, and months, Scorpio, you may finally be understanding that your identity is something you've created. It's not fixed. You don't have to be who you were five years ago. You don't have to be who you are right now, my friends. You can truly create a whole new identity and become whoever it is you want to be, Scorpio. Tell me what's coming in the future for my babes, please. <clears throat> Inherently wounded intimacy and trust. Some of you, you are, um, you're suffering from a lot of inner wounds and it is uh, making you be distrust the world, lovers and otherwise, but you are expanding your horizons and you're about to share your creativity Instead of making yourself the centerpiece, Pluto challenges you to use your innate creative ideas and gifts and magnetism to benefit humanity. We, um, you know, the Scorpio full moon is squaring Pluto, and we also have Neptune in Scorpio. I have a Neptune in Scorpio. I actually have a, a stellium in Scorpio. I have six six placements in the sign of Scorpio. Some of you may be like me. Sagittarius energy here, Jupiter in Sagittarius, Scorpio. Travel brings wealth. Somebody could be very gossipy. Your adventure brings you wealth of experience, information, knowledge, and money. And you love to share your ideas and things you have found with others. Some of you may be um, teachers of sort. You could actually be a teacher. You could be teaching people around you how to treat you, or you could just be sharing your knowledge like I am. A lot of you, maybe you take a lot of training courses and you have been studying something for a long time and you like to share your knowledge. Scorpio Priestess, was about always about that for me, not just about reading tarot. I'm not like other readers. I get drug for it. I don't have as many views for it, but I am on a mission to share everything I have learned over the last mm, 13 years of my life. And you may feel the same way about some area where you may start feeling called to share the knowledge that you know, Scorp to help humanity. Some of you are very analytical. You're very smart and you're in a place in your life where you can do that. You can share your knowledge or you can train other people. Moving into the next few weeks and months, you may be training somebody at work. You may be hiring some new people if you have your own business or side gig. Tell me about these new horizons for Scorpio moving into the next few weeks and months. Ten of Pentacles, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Be careful that there's not somebody around you, Scorpio, that makes empty promises to you. This is your message. There's somebody who is uh, very egotistical. Oh, boy. The King and the Queen of Wands both in reverse. Wow. Wow. Be careful, Scorpio. There could be a couple that is very egotistical and very vile in their energy, very free with their sexual energy, and very reckless that you uh, uh, meet or, or that's in your life now. Some of you are dealing with, with a couple or there's an ex-lover and a third party that are both very vile and they, they may cause some issues for you over the course of the next few weeks and months. Some of you may have children to somebody who is a player and has gotten their self involved with a thought. Uh, and they are causing some kind of ruckus or might make some empty promises to you. Some of you, there is a judgment in court and, and your ex-lover and their new girlfriend or boyfriend may try to um, cause some issues for you. Some of you are building wealth, you're building security, and, and Scorpio, this is earned rewards. In the next few weeks and months, besides this couple around you that are very egotistical and um, arrogant, you are actually building a lot of 
of wealth, a wealth of knowledge and, and a wealth, uh, you know, when it comes to your material wealth. Just be mindful that there are people around you that may make some empty promises or try to cause some kind of issue in your life. <clears throat> a fire sign, an earth sign, a sage could be important to you. Moving on here to money, inner warrior, channel your inner strength to subdue and subtly control the issues at hand. Trust your power, strength, courage, and confidence. Getting the strength, having the confidence to pursue your dream score, moving into the next few weeks and months, really feeling called to start pursuing some creative endeavors or pursuing a new career some of you may be starting something new or adding something new to your business or you know a side gig or something like this opening your own business um, you may be working short-term positions right now score because you're just trying to pay the bills until something else gets off the ground maybe you have opened your own business when I first started my salon I had to work in a nursing home for the first year and um, I made great money, but boy, was that an adventure. But I'll tell you, it really, sh it, it really gave me a new uh, respect for people with Alzheimer's and, and otherwise. Um, it was an adventure and it wasn't easy, but I had to do it. If I wanted my salon to be successful, I had to pay, I had to find more consistent income in the beginning. And so some of you may be working a short-term job because you're opening your own business and you're just trying to have that consistency coming in for you. Wishes come true. Your wishes are being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It's just what you need. You are being protected from deceit and from situations that no longer serve you. Lie low for a while and you will be shown the truth. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Like I said, there is a... Uh, Whoever I am channeling today, there is a couple around you. I hate to say my guides are giving me your brother and, and and their wife, your sister and their husband. There's people, there's a couple around you that you are actually being protected from. If you are doing well for yourself and you have somebody constantly asking you for money or for support in some way, be mindful, Scorpio, that you're actually being protected from this person. Tell me about this protection. You're being asked to let go of the things that are not serving you and then just lie low for a minute. Keep, keep yourself on the down low. If there's something you're looking to manifest, don't share it. Some of you, this is definitely an X. You're being asked to think strategically here. Somebody you have had an ending with that's very reckless. This person may be asking you for money in the next few weeks and months. They may be really behind on child support or alimony. There's a judgment about to be placed here. There's some newfound clarity about this person. You're going to persevere forward with willpower. It's going to require you to think strategically and persevere forward from whoever this is some of you you are working for a couple you're working for a husband and wife and they are shoddy as shit and you've got to think strategically here there's going to be a necessary ending the divine is protecting you from somebody friends an employer a lover somebody here you're being protected Scorpio, and there's a necessary ending to come with these people or perhaps at your work. But no, honey, it is for your highest good. Whatever leaves your life in the next three months, Scorpio, whoever leaves your life in the next three months, it is because there's no place for them in, in where you're going and they're just holding you down. 
an air sign, a Cancer, another Scorpio, or a Sag. As I said, a lot of Sagittarian energy here may be important to you. Moving on over to love, the overall energy in love, communication. Be open to receiving messages right now. It's important to communicate clearly and honestly. Calls, texts, expression, and answers. Some of you are someone about to express something to you. You're literally going to feel an electric shock go through your body when this person reaches out. You may not be expecting it. You may wake up to a message or get a text message and just feel that nervous, shaky butterflies in your stomach. Some of you have exchanged information with someone who is not um, reached, they, they haven't reached out. You could have given them your number like a month ago or something like that. You didn't feel this person was interested, but they are others. This is a lover that you haven't heard from in a while. Tell me about the communication coming in for Scorpio, please. Oh, boy. Some of you are about to get communication from a karmic. Some of you are about to get communication from a third party. Others, this is a karmic lover. You may have thought this person was uh, like a counterpart or something, but they're actually a karmic partner or they are a karmic soulmate. There's been a lot of turbulence, a lot of highs and lows, red flags, codependency, arguments, miscommunication, gets in trouble in various ways, plagued with depression and addiction, unstable childhood, very difficult time loving themselves and others. They could be a Gemini. Or by Gemini season, you could possibly receive some kind of message from a karmic Scorpio from this person's other lover. In the next 19 to 27 days, you could have a message come through from somebody involved with them that there's a lot of arguing and fighting with somebody either their karmic lover or um, a karmic friend family member otherwise but whatever the hell they want what do they want spirit what do they want i didn't see this coming what does this karmic want please to create an illusion period. Whatever they're coming in to say, it's not even true. It's a half truth. It has something to do about this person cheating on them, or they feel like y'all have been seeing one another. They may accuse you of uh, cheating with this person. Perhaps you are. If you're in the middle of an affair score, be careful that this person's karmic, their, their lover doesn't find out this is a warning. This person may reach out and tell you, you know, I've been dealing with them for uh, 10 years and, and you're just one of many. This person's not going anywhere. That kind of vibe is what I get. But again, like I said, these two people are not in a good place. I feel that the reason why they're showing up in your energy, Scorpio, is because you're going to have some kind of altercation with either your ex and their current lover, or you may find out that they're cheating and have it out with this other person. This may not um, apply to all of you, okay, but... Honestly, somebody clearly needs to hear this. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Why are they reaching out? Why is this karmic person reaching out, please? What do they have to say? <clears throat> oh, God. This is for a very, very small few of you, but my guides are guiding me to say it. Struggles with orientation or sexual identity. Afraid to show their true colors. Feels rejected by society. 
pretending and fake flexing. Some of you, this karmic is reaching out to tell you that this person is trying to act like they're rich, but they it's actually their money. Others, this karmic is reaching out to tell you that this person may be involved with same-sex people on the down low. No, that's for a small few of you. Um, this, this third party is go wants to tell you that this person um, is not savable, that they have been a fixer-upper, they have been trying to fix them, and it's not working. Um, tries to soften the blow of a breakup, slowly pulling away instead of just ending the relationship at a snail's pace. They seem to be trying to break away from this third party. They're softening the blow. There's religious views here. This person may have some really outlandish religious views. They may be trying to do some kind of crazy voodoo, black magic, or something like this as well to keep this pe person to stay. Some of you, this person is going to... Um, tell you that this person hasn't been coming home at night or they've been really distant or something. They're, they're, they're trying to slowly move away from this karmic and that's triggering them to reach out to you. They may be reaching out to ask you, did this person do this to you? Did they do that to you? Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind here. unsent messages yeah they they want to reach out they haven't been reaching out they're having a lot of naughty thoughts they're very sentimental um you could be a Nov november scorpio like me um both of you this person could definitely be a uh, scorpio sag cusp their self they're having a lot of naughty thoughts when i'm with you i feel complete i feel as if i won the best prize at all you're exactly what I need and want in my life. They feel very fulfilled by your relationship, Scorpio, but they seem to have this wacky karmic here in the background causing trouble and, and pop in their head. This person hasn't admitted their true feelings. They think about reaching out and then they stop. They start typing and stop. There's about... 50 messages that they have tried to send you but they do know no, they don't know what to say because they have this karmic person in their life the memories of us bring me joy but agony at the same time i think about you continuously and you are never far from my thoughts scorpio i sexually fantasize about you i think about being with you i think about conversations we've had but I have something here going on with a karmic that I'm slowly trying to move away from. This person could have left you for this third party, or you could have met them and they were still involved with this third party and they keep telling you they're going to leave or they're going to disconnect from them. And it's been really slow and you're starting to lose hope. What do they plan to do, please, Spirit? What does this person on Scorpio's mind plan to do? They have a very busy schedule, and the inability to text or call as often as they want. Proves a point to an ex by dating someone new. A way to piss you off by dating someone that is attractive. Sabotaging. Ruins a relationship due to their beliefs that they are not good enough. You know, this person has sabotaged the relationship. They thought you were going to leave them. They, they're trying to make you angry with a karmic. Some of you, this person got with this third party, this karmic, just to piss you off. Um, just to, you know, throw something in your face. And they have found that this karmic is actually their damn karma. And so now they are... Uh, really mad at their self for self-sabotaging. They could have felt not good enough and, and therefore they decided to start going where it was easy. 
They could have chose someone because it was easier, because they they weren't afraid this third party was going to leave them. They, they don't care if they do. And so it's just easier to be with them. That's all. Yeah, it's the rebound. Period. This person's dealing with a rebound. That, that's what they're doing. Uses people to overcome pain or heartbreak from past relationships. This person is using this third party as a rebound. That's all. That's all this karmic is, is a rebound. For some of you, unfortunately, they could have gotten to a relationship with you. And uh, to it could be opposite to piss off a karmic. And now they've went back to this third party. They thought they were going to get with you just to piss the karmic off, that you were going to be a rebound. But now they are realizing that they miss you and that they really enjoyed being with you. And they, they're, you know, that they self-sabotaged by going back to this karmic. They could have been on and off with this third party for so many years that that's just what they do. That's just what they were used to doing. And now they wish that they wouldn't have chose that route. They may tell you that this, that this third party is just a rebound. They're going to defend their actions because tick tock here, motherfucker, they're, they're wasting time and it's time to go. Scorpio is about to let go of what's no longer serving them. They've been solitaire in their own thoughts, but they're going to defend their actions with convoluted reasons and theories, twist the truth in order to cause confusion and chaos. This person's going to come in and defend their actions by not telling you the truth or acting as if, um, what are you talking about, Scorpio? I, I never said that to the third party. I never did that. You know, just gaslighting, trying to defend. I did it because you did this. I started dating them because you said that um, kind of thing. You told me to leave that night. And then they went to a third party's house and have been there ever since. That kind of thing. They're going to try to make you feel as if their bad behavior and their self-sabotaging is your fault. They have a strong need to be physically next to you right now. They they really desire being close to you. But they've been isolating. Yeah, they have. They could be actually using, drinking, partying. Uh, they have to sneak away from the third party like a thief in the fucking night. But this person is so confused and so in their mind, just going round and round and round. They've created a mental prison. They've created a blockage that they have to stay or it's going to be too hard or something like this they've been going really slow at leaving and you're you're getting very fed up with it and this person knows that they know that you are eight of cups about to walk away and make a judgment call they're trying to get up the strength here this could be a sagittarius this could be a capricorn um a leo they're juggling around what to do. They could be juggling around money as well. They could be moving money around because they don't want the third party. Thank you, Spirit. Five of Pentacles in reverse. They're trying to not lose any money in the deal. Those that this person's married to a third party, they're trying to uh, hide money and, and get prepared. They are going to come in here very love balmy telling you that they walked away, that they finally did it, but they're going to defend their self. Instead of being honest with you, they're coming in and defending their behavior. And <clears throat> some of you, you'll accept that. Others, you're done with that bullshit. You're done with them blaming it on everything else. It's time to take personal accountability. Tell me what they're going to do. What are their true intentions? Lovers to make a decision. Ten of Pentacles, they actually want a real relationship. They love you, Scorpio. They have a lot of love for you. They do want a real 
relationship with you. They do want to build and they do want to grow. Um, perhaps with, when you confront them, they will own up opposed to being so defensive. Maybe they'll finally take accountability for what they've done. They're making a decision, that's for sure. They're making some decision here to come into their King or Queen of Cups and talk to you about your relationship. They are communicating. They want to communicate. But be mindful that they are not in a good place, and neither is this third party. They seem to be both very jealous, very vicious right now, and I fear some of you are going to be drugged down by them. They could start some World War War Three between y'all. Don't let them knock you out your square. This could be a Gemini, a lot of Earth here as well. I wish you the very best. Moving on to those Scorpios who are ready to meet a new lover, unlikely source, Scorp. Wonderful things can happen in everything around you, even from some of the most unexpected sources, unexpected and unconsidered. You may have someone around you right now that you have never considered. You've just never considered them. You thought that they were just a friend or you thought they were married or you didn't think they would be interested in you. Some of you are going to be somewhere as mundane as the grocery store, the dentist office or something like this and meet a new person there. You're going to run into a new lover in the middle of the store. They're going to ask you for your number or something like this, Scorpio. Tell me about this. Tell me about this new person. Tell me about new love for Scorpio, the sun sign, moon, or rising of Scorpio, please, spirit. This person's going to be obsessive and wanting more. The phoenix rising transforms after a dark night of the soul, reborn from the ashes, focused and determined on working on oneself. Uh, stand in it, Scorpio. Stand in it here, baby. Really rising out of those ashes. Look at you, that beautiful phoenix. You are rising, 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 ascending as well. And you are meeting someone new. You are absolutely going to, but be careful that your ex doesn't react and become very jealous. This new lover, obsessive, wanting more, codependent, over the top, show off. This person's going to really be very codependent on your attention, Scorp. Some of you may meet one person that it's just a situationship that's not putting in much effort and and as well as someone that's going to be like truly obsessed with you but it looks to me like in a cute way like this person is going to want to be around you all the time but be mindful that there seems to be more than one lover coming in or more than one lover around you A lot of you, one's an ex. This person doesn't want you to move on, but they're not putting in any effort. And this person's an attention seeker. They're always seeking the int the attention and, and validation from others. And you're, they're going to be jealous that you're meeting a new lover. But, oh, well, I don't feel most of you give any fucks. Those ready to start dating a new lover you just don't care anymore. Let them be jealous. They, they're they the ones who self-sabotaged and started dealing with rebounds, not you. Tell me about the good lover. I want to know about the new good lover coming in that's going to feel like Scorpio is their sweet spot. This person could be an air sign. They could have a lot of air in their chart. They could be an Aquarius. They've been through a lot their self. You're going to be a little confused. You could meet them while you're out with friends. You could meet them while you're traveling. 
you could meet them online. It just depends on if you're putting in any energy or effort into dating on how soon. Tell me about this. In the next 17 days, by June 17th, some of you are going to meet someone um, and it's going to make you feel so powerful. You may want to look, um, find out what your Lilith is, Scorpio, and start finding out more about your dark side, your dark moon, because um, this person's really going to stimulate you sexually and in every way you're going to feel very powerful and very intimate like you're going to be in charge of the intimacy let's just say that of your body and of you're just going to feel on fire with this new person you could meet them while you're out with friends. You could meet them through friends or they're already in your friend group online. They're on one of your friends list. I really wish you all the very, very best. And I hope you have the best Monday ever. Today's going to be the best Monday we ever had, Scorpio. I have everything because I am everything. Love and light.